Hey everyone, I'm Krista Seiden from KS Digital, and I'm here today to tell you about three easy ways to install Google Analytics 4 on your site. So let's go ahead and take a look right here in Google Analytics 4. We are here in the admin section, and you can get there by going to this left-hand nav on the very bottom and clicking admin. And we will go ahead and click into data streams. Once here, we'll click on web stream. And importantly, we will need our measurement ID if we are using any sort of a tool integrator. You can find that right here. You can click copy, copy it to your clipboard, and you're ready to paste it into any sort of integration with a CMS, a website builder, a plugin, and so forth. Now let's dig into more detail about how we can actually set up our tagging for Google Analytics 4. So here in the same web streams detail page, if we go ahead and scroll down, at the very bottom, you'll see a section called View Tag Instructions. If we click in here, this will load up the tagging instruction screen for the Google tag. Now, the first thing we see is the ability to install with a website builder or a CMS. This is actually several different uh, supported platforms that come out of the box with information or tips on how to go ahead and implement Google Analytics 4. So there's a site kit plugin for WordPress, Monster Insights plugin for WordPress. These are a couple of well-known plugins for WordPress to help you install Google Analytics. Wix, if you're using them as a website builder or Squarespace, Duda, and we can show the last three. Um, and you can see here all of the different instructions that there are. Now, I'm sure that the screen will continue to grow with other platforms as they come out with instructions. So for example, if we wanted to do Wix, we could click on that scroll down and it actually shows you a step-by-step -step instruction of how to go ahead and integrate this integration. If we head on back up and choose a different one, for example, SiteKit plugin. Now this is the official Google plugin for all things Google, uh, such as Search Console, Google Analytics, and so forth. And actually, if we head on over to WordPress, we can see this right here. So here's the site kit by Google Analytics plugin. I'm just in the plugin section of WordPress and I searched for Google Analytics 4. Now, speaking of plugins, there's a bunch more here. So if we scroll down, we see several other plugins that also work for Google Analytics. So you don't have to use the site kit one, you can use whatever plugin you think is best for your site. If we head back over to Google Analytics, one last one to show the Monster Insights plugin from WordPress. This is just, again, another non-Google plugin, shows you exact step-by-step -step instructions for how to go ahead and implement this particular plugin on WordPress. Speaking of WordPress, the ChrisDeciding.com blog runs on WordPress, and so that's actually how I'm going to go ahead and show you how I implement Google Analytics. But let's recap. There are three different ways, like I said, that I'm gonna walk through of how you can implement Google Analytics. So this one right here, installing via a plugin or through a connector with the instructions right here given in Google Analytics 4, that's the first way. That's using an integration that is already set up out of the box. The second way is actually to go ahead and get in your code editor. So whether you are on WordPress or Wix or Squarespace or any other platform, if you have access to that editor, you can go ahead and hard code Google Analytics using the gtag.js script into your site. So if we scroll up here and we go over to install manually, these are actually the instructions that we need to go ahead and hard code this tag. All I'd have to do is copy this tag as we see it by clicking that little copy button. And I would paste it in the code of every page of my site, just like the instructions say, immediately after the head element. Um, this is important immediately after the head. You don't wanna add it more than once on any one page. You do wanna make sure it's on every page that you wanna check. So that's the second way of how we would go ahead and install Google Analytics 4 on any site that you're working on. Now the third way and my personal favorite and how KS Digital and ChristaSiden.com are implemented is via Google Tag Manager. Now I mentioned I run on WordPress. Great, I can actually install Google Tag Manager via WordPress. So if I head on over here, you can actually see this is a plugin. It's called the Google Tag Manager for WordPress plugin by Thomas Geiger. You can find it in the plugin library for WordPress if you're using WordPress. And it's a great plugin to go ahead and quickly implement Google Tag Manager. All I have to do is uh, go to the settings for this particular plugin, 
and I enter my Google Tag Manager ID right here into this box. Once I've entered it, Google Tag Manager, that's my container ID, will load on my site. You can find that container ID in your Google Tag Manager account. If you click on the uh, Tag Manager container ID up at the top, you get to a place where you have the full code if you're gonna copy paste that into the site itself, or you can just copy paste the container ID and use that in the plugin. Now, the reason that I love Google Tag Manager and this integration so much is that it makes it really, really easy to launch not just Google Analytics 4, but multiple tags. So if we head back over to my Google Tag Manager account, you'll see that I actually have a ton of different tags running in this account. And all of these are different analytics tools, different pixels that I need to run, different GA properties that I'm running, Universal Analytics, Google Analytics 4, and so forth. And I can do all of this through Google Tag Manager just by setting up the tags, the triggers that I need, the variables if used, and then launching those. All of this is running on my kristasiden.com and my KS Digital Properties through that WordPress plugin, making it really, really simple to manage everything in one place. So there you go. There are three ways to go ahead and implement Google Analytics 4 on your website. The first one was through a native integration, copying your measurement ID over and pasting it into an integration with something like WordPress or Wix or Duda or, or Squarespace or one of the other integrations that are uh, shown with step-by-step -step instructions in the Google Analytics 4 UI. The second way is to go ahead and hard code that gtag.js script on the page with the install manually instructions given in the Google Analytics interface. And the third option is to use Google Tag Manager, my personal preference, which gives you a lot more flexibility, not just to add additional tags, but to more easily add event tags for Google Analytics 4, which helps you track not just what you get out of the box, but so much more information about what is going on on your site.